Hi, I'm Emily and I'm the Castle Girl. Today I'm at Ardrossan Castle. Ardrossan Castle is a ruined scheduled monument that sits on a hilltop known as Cannon Hill in the town of Ardrossan, which is situated on a promontory in Ayrshire on the west coast of Scotland. Northwards from the castle you can see along the coastal route to Seamill and West Kilbride. Facing south you can see over South Beach towards Salcoats. In the east you can see the hills over towards Clyde Mercial Regional Park. Looking west there are spectacular views of the Isle of Arran sitting 15 miles out in the Firth of Clyde. And beyond Arran in the distance you can see parts of the Kintyre Peninsula. The first castle to be built on the site was around the 12th century by Simon de Morville. By around the 13th century, it was allegedly held by the Barclays and Laird Richard Barclay of Ardrossan. The Gilk brothers, who wrote a visitor handbook of areas of interest in the Clyde in 1847, mentioned that Ardrossan Castle was formerly known as Castle Crag. They claim it was renamed Ardrossan after the family took ownership. However, in Scottish Gaelic, Ard means high or height and Rossin means promontory. William Wallace recaptured the castle from Edward I during the Wars of Independence. Wallace is believed to have slighted the castle and murdered the English garrison. He left the bodies dumped in a cellar which is now known as Wallace's Larder. The castle passed to the Eglinton family through marriage after the last member of the Barclay family died. Godfrey Barclay died without an heir in 1357. Sir John Montgomery married the daughter of Sir Hugh Eglinton around the 1380s. He was the seventh Baron of Eaglesham and through marriage he became the Baron of Eglinton and Ardrossan also. It is the remains built by Montgomery that we can see today.
There are remnants of a three-storey keep on the north side, but no walls are left on the south side, laying view to striking interior features of stone carvings, hearths and fireplaces. The ruins of the castle lie adjacent to the remains of an old churchyard also. Around 1648, the castle was destroyed by Oliver Cromwell's army and most of the stone was used to build a fort in the town of Ayr. Like all castle histories, there is legend attached, and in the case of Ardrossan Castle, it is said to be haunted by the ghost of William Wallace. Wallace can be seen wandering the grounds on stormy nights. Folklore also states that the castle was attacked by the devil himself after being cunningly tricked by Sir Fergus Barclay, who was also known as the Deal of Ardrossan. Fergus was known for his exceptional horsemanship and his powers lay in his magical bridle. It is said that Sir Fergus sold his soul to the devil for the bridle. Later Sir Fergus tricked the devil into returning his soul and through this angered Satan. In his rage, the devil attacked the castle and left his hoof print on one of its stones. After he died, Sir Fergus was buried in the churchyard nearby. Thanks for watching. I look forward to visiting a castle near you. Bye!